Have you ever received a claim, warning, or strike on music you've used in your YouTube video? Do you want a free and safe alternative to the songs you use from the YouTube audio library? Today, you're going to learn all about Creator Mix, a new music platform that has original royalty-free music. If you're wondering what this has to do with Canva, well, you're going to have to watch to see. Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. Let's get started. Create an account on creatormix.com. Choose your username and input your email address and a password. You can create your own or use the one generated for you. Type the answer to the mathematical problem in order to create an account. You can always save your password on your browser for easy access later. You can now log in to begin exploring the music selections that Creator Mix has to offer. There are a couple important things for you to look at when you're looking at Creator Mix. Here's the homepage, which tells you that you can listen to it on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon Music, and Apple Music. Creator Mix Music is safe for YouTube, Twitch, Gameplay, TikTok, LinkedIn, Podcast, and even online courses. Now, by the way, this is from Nick and his brother D. Neman, and they are phenomenal content creators, and I love that they have put this together for everybody. There are different genres. If you want to download the Creator Mix user license, then it's going to be right there. And let me open that up for you. Here it is. And it gives all of the legal information. There are a couple different ways you can filter down for music. If you know what kind of mood you're going for, click the mood tab and you can see that there's a few different moods, including 80s retro, angry, chill, dreamy, electronic, energetic, floating. And look, as you go over them, they turn gray. I love that. Futuristic, happy, and relaxing. Let's just look at the chill mood. And when I click chill, it gives me several different albums to look at. So let's look at Breezy. And Breezy has 27 minutes worth of songs. I'll show you how to download and copy the attributions in a little bit, but this is basically what it looks like. And you can click the play button. You can also filter by genre. Let's just click cyberpunk and it will give you a couple of different options here. Let's click evolution. Evolution has 12 songs, 31 minutes. Let's take a listen. That's pretty cool. Now, the other thing, artists. Currently, they have two artists. And if you click on one of the artists, you will see which albums that artist created. Creator mixes, and this will tell you the creator. So let's click Nick and see what it says. There's Nim and Live Lo-Fi. Hello, sunshine. You can press it here or you can press it down here. You can even change the volume here, it looks like. All right, now that we've gone over the different ways to sort the music, how do you download it? Well, first, you would find a music that you like. Let's say that it's so breezy. You will see the audio waveform here and how long it is. The title is called So Breezy and it's on the album called Breezy. Here is your download button. You will click that. And when you click the download button, the pop-up header info will give you information. Pause to look at what you are allowed to do and what you aren't allowed to do with Creator Mix Music before we move on to downloading this file. 
And there's a frequently asked question segment and we'll go over that a little later on, but here you go. Now let's click download and it will download onto your computer. You can do this on your mobile devices too. All right, so you've downloaded that. What do you need to do next? Well, you need some information here. If you click that little C, it's going to give you the attribution information. To use this song, copy and paste the following text into your video description. And again, it will tell you what you can do with the music and what you cannot do with the music. If you're using multiple tracks at once, you can add a single attribution of musicbycreatormix.com in your description. So basically what you do is click the copy button. It will copy it for you and then you can paste that information in. Let's go back to Canva and I'm going to show you a little trick. So let's say that you've uploaded your music here. You need the text, add a comment and paste in the information that you're going to use about that song here so that you have it for your YouTube video. Let's X this out and what's this? If I click that, the track URL has been copied. Let's see what that means. So here it is, Creator Mix album and it's the track and this will automatically take you to this album and this track and it will open it up and be on that direct link and it will even include the other songs in that album. That is pretty cool. Let's look at shop. Of course, since this is a free service, you can purchase some merch from them. Let's see what they cost. So it looks like they're about 19 bucks. It does not look like there's an upcharge for larger sizes either. That's pretty cool. Toolbox. What is toolbox? Resources for creators. This is awesome. I didn't even know about this, but this just gives you some, oh, look, 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 Canva. You know, I love that, that they included Canva right there. That's amazing. Let's move on to frequently asked questions. This is a very important tab. I'm not going to go over all of this, but I'm going to go over a couple things with you. Their music is original and safe to use. The other is, can I use your music on Facebook? You can, but we can't promise you won't have issues with their content ID system. We're working on a solution. Here's the thing. They say that you won't get a copyright claim or strike. Creator Mix will never give a copyright claim or strike as long as you're following the guidelines that they have. However, false copyright claims and Twitch mutes happen. What happens if you do get a copyright claim or strike? Go to the bottom of the page and download the license. Remember the license I downloaded earlier? You can upload the license with your dispute to prove you have permission to use this track. Now, to learn more about content ID claims and strikes and mutes, I'm actually going to leave this link right here in the description below so that you have access to it. What else is up here? You've got YouTube. Let's see. When I subscribed, there was 216 subscribers. Now there are 423. So let's help them grow and you can check out the different videos that they have here but that's very cool and you can even leave a comment for them as well i got a heart from think media i got distracted but they're on youtube and tiktok instagram twitter is that twitch yep twitch let's see what dashboard says this is that page the first page that says we have a quick start page that shows you how to get started in three simple steps. How to, so I'll leave a link to this as well, just in case you can't find it. What does this have to do with Canva? Good question. Let's go to Canva. Here's the thing. I am not an expert on music and copyright claims. And, but what I do know is that a lot of people have gotten claims when they've tried to use Canva Pro Music on their YouTube channel. 
Because I'm not an expert, I'm going to direct you to someone that has a little more knowledge than I do about the subject. So I'm going to leave a link to Darren Meredith's video in the description below and check out what he says about Canva Pro's music, Creator Mix Music. You can upload this music to Canva. Go to your Uploads tab, Upload Media, find it wherever it is. So for me, it's in Downloads. We're going to go to Breezy because that's a song and it is uploading. And by uploading, you confirm your content complies with our terms of use and does not infringe on any third party right. I can add the song. Here's the music and it just gave me one bit of the music. But when I increase the size of that, it gives me more. Then, ooh, audio effects. <gasps> They've got they've got new features fade in and fade out if you want to know more about splitting audio clips it's a little tricky and i figured out a workaround then i want you to watch this video that's on the screen right now if you don't see it look in the description i'll leave a link for you there and i'll see you next time bye